In this video, we're gonna create a countdown timer that asks the user how many seconds to count down from, and then plays a sound once the timer reaches zero. In order to create a countdown timer, we need to start at a certain value, a certain number, and then decrease by one every second until we reach zero. So that sounds like a job for a loop. I'm gonna go into the control palette and bring in a repeat block, which is my loop. And what I can now do is create a variable. So I'm gonna go over my variables palette. I'm gonna create a variable named timer, and I'm gonna set the value of timer at the beginning of this script. I'm gonna set it equal to 10. Then every second, 10 times, I'm going to decrease, I'm gonna change the value of timer by negative one. So that's gonna decrease the value of timer 10 times and get down to zero. So if I click on this script to run it, we see that timer still says zero and it is running, but it's happening so quickly that we don't even see it go down from 10 to zero. So what I want to do is incorporate some sort of delay. I'm gonna go over back to the control palette and there is a perfect block for this job, the wait block. So what I wanna do is wait one second, then decrease timer by one, 10 times, and that will be a 10 second countdown. So now if I click on this script to run it, we see that the timer starts at 10 and decreases 10 times until it gets to zero. Now the only thing missing from my timer right now is some sort of sound to play at the end of the 10 seconds. So I'm gonna go over to the sounds tab and I'm gonna import a sound from the library. So let's find a cheer. I'm gonna go back to the code tab, then go to the sounds palette and bring over play cheer until done. So this will run after everything happens, after we decrease the timer down to zero. Now I don't want the user to have to click on this script to run it, so I'm gonna go into events and have the user click on the green flag to run this project. And while it's running, I think I could actually spice this up just a little bit. It would be nice for the project to ask the user how many seconds they should count down from. Let's go over to our sensing palette to grab the ask block. And I wanna ask that before I set the timer because I'm gonna to need to use the value that the user enters as my starting point for the timer. So I'm gonna ask the user, how many seconds do you want me to count down from? And we can use the answer block. This is gonna be the response that the user gives. We can use this in our set block. So we can set the timer to the answer that the user gives. And then we have to use answer one more time because if the user enters 36, we need to repeat change timer by one or by negative one 36 times. So I can repeat it answer times, if that makes sense. I could test this out by clicking on the green flag. Let me type in a, a random number. Let's do 13 and it should count down from 13 seconds all the way down to zero and then play that cheer. I'm gonna speed this up just for the sake of this video. And my timer works exactly how I want.